What's up guys? My name's Nick. I got my friend Jack and my girlfriend behind the camera, Fiona. We're here in the Halem Bay. We're gonna do a little bit of crabbing today. So we got three crab rings, two pots out. We drop the pots first. We're gonna let those soak for 30 minutes and we're gonna pull up the crab rings every 10, 15 minutes. You wanna pull up crab rings every 10 minutes at minimum and I'd say also at most. 10, min 10 minutes is the best time to pull them up because you don't want the traps to come in and out. What they'll do is they'll actually come in after like a minute and a half of you dropping your crab off or crab ring they'll come in eat the bait they won't stay for very long and they'll leave so 10 minutes is the best time if you don't have your measure and you need to measure a crab no one else has a measure a dollar bill is exactly the same size as five and three quarters so you can do that as well so today we're using clam and fish as bait and I kind of want to do a little experiment we got one GoPro down in one of the pots right now so you guys are gonna be able to see some of the underwater footage I'm gonna see which bait really works better um, so far I've kind of been bought more on clam uh, just I don't know why it just seems like the crab like that more than fish and chicken um, I can't really explain why but right now it's low slack tide so we just got here at the perfect time the water is calm literally no wind it's perfect conditions so we're gonna hopefully get some keepers today <laughs> <laughs> I knew I looked at the tides, I was like, damn, this is gonna be a good day to crab. First one or the last one? First first uh first ring. Okay. Yeah, cause good thing I had today off because I worked yesterday and I worked tomorrow. So you work tomorrow? Yeah. 845, 4.45. Okay, so you guys want to reel up the slack of the ring first. You guys will know when you guys get to the actual ring. So I'm reeling up the slack right now. And these are rings, these aren't pots, so crabs can get out easily. So right, right about now I feel like I'm at the ring. When you are, give it a good one good tug and then pull up quick. No, my might be nuts. And this, and this was not down for very long. None of these look like keepers, but I'll go ahead and show you. So this is a male. The re how you can tell it has the point here, and then the way to measure it is you want to measure from these insides. These points are you're not allowed to measure from. You need to measure from the insides. I can tell by not looking. He's not a keeper, so we'll throw him back. And then this is a female. She has a wider uh, apron, so she's gonna go back as well. All the rest of these are females. So we'll, th we'll throw these back. Another easy way you guys can do it is literally just to take them like that. And then we'll throw this, throw this one away as well. Throw this one out as well. She will let go. Whoa. All right, and then crabbing will go back down. Stuck under the boat. I don't think any of these are, Jack. That's a female. Is it big enough? Try and let go. Slow, baby. Slow down. 
literally once I grab right all the way right. Now once I grab it, I need you to angle the. I need you to go left okay. right when I grab it. I can't see what's going on. Okay, go left all the way left and just and just put us forward. Okay. So uh, have us go straight that way. Yep. Yep, keep going, baby. You're doing great. Okay, slow for a second. Here, we're right on top of it. Oh. oh, this is heavy. There's a lot in this one. Are they, let's see if any of these are males. Is that a male? Monster! That's crazy. I can't tell what. That's a keeper. That thing's huge. That's a dude. Alright. Dude, tell us shit. We gotta get in the. So, another way you guys might be able to tell if they're females is they're crawling around like this. If you see it start to kind of round, be round right on this oh, area, this might be a keeper too. that's usually female because their um, apron's bigger, so we'll toss her over. So, that's a male. this is a male. We might, we might be a keeper, so we're going to move her. Again, to the notch, the first notch right here, and they're up close, up close thing, right here to the indent here and there you go five and three quarters he is over the over the size he needs to be kept so there we go we got two so if you guys know one side is working really good for you just do the same thing just, if they're like this you could grab them by these you can grab them by these two back legs right here and then put your finger on them like that and grab them or you can grab them by the pinches Well, he kind of got me, but it was probably nothing. No, he, he probably barely, barely tiny got me because it didn't hurt enough for him to have actually got me. Oh, now what are they doing? They're trying to steal our spot. What's going on, guys? So, I kind of want to talk to you guys about what goes on underwater so as you can see we're dropping the crop pot hits bottom and there's just nothing around it which surprised me because this bay is full of crab and i at least thought that there would be something that we could pick up on the gopro down there but it's kind of empty for a little while which surprises me another thing i'm also kind of curious about is where do these crabs come from i know that they're in the bay obviously but like where exactly are they located when there's no food to be found around the whole bay so as you can see we're going to fast forward here to the next clip and there's a crab eating on top which is funny to me because that's not what I wanted to happen at all. So they're a little overachievers there and as you can see there's a big male out there that we totally missed out on which is super unfortunate but hopefully we're going to get to pulling some up here soon and get some keepers. Yep, we got a keeper. That's a female, that's, that's a male. A that's a keeper. So grab all these. Hard turn left. Straighten us out. Oh, there. Okay, go straight, go straight, go straight. Just like that. Hard turn left. Hard nice. I'm gonna check that guy first. Yep. Okay, measuring it. 
he is over the gauge, over this mark. So he is a keeper. So we're going to toss it back out because we need to go to the very end and get our other uh, crab ring. So we're going to work our way back down and pull them up again. You should really never know. And then uh, we're probably going to pull up the pots and then head in. We got enough crab for today. So we're just going to check them one more time, like I said, and go back in. wasn't a keeper, so it's okay. We might have gotten one there. Maybe if that's what we have. might have two. Do you want me to start driving back? Uh, maybe we should. After we get both of them out. Yeah, let's get the cruise there. Good cruise a little. Yeah, go ahead and cruise. If you actually just, just lay off the throttle, baby, the tide will take us in. 